Lacey Everett here with Minds in Motion. Don't forget to subscribe to the Minds in Motion YouTube channel in order to help others. It is free, easy, you just click a button and then you're done. Today's guest is Vinny Falbo, who is a professional dancer, actor, director. I, I, I try to keep as much of my childlike brain intact, I guess. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Curious with the entertainment industry, with life, what lessons did you take from it? How did you overcome struggles, keep mentally sane? And your work that is being criticized and scrutinized by people is literally like intertwined with you. It's not just like a book you wrote or something. It, it literally is physically you. It can, it can really take a toll on you mentally and and your self-image and while at the same time really strengthens that and you learn to separate sort of your own emotions and, and be like, I just don't look how they want for this whatever and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, you learn to not take things personally. It literally isn't about you, it's about the story. If, if it's, you know, in terms of a film or something like that, you know, focusing on the fact that my work my work is me, but it also is separate from me. Like I am my own person, but then my work is over here, but it's still me, but there has to be a division of some sort. If it's a hundred percent you, and if your, you know, video doesn't get X amount of attention, you can't take that in as validating yourself. And I've made that, I've, I've, I only learned that so recently, you know, cause I have been in so many spirals of, of feeling so overwhelmed with trying to impress people and, and trying to get this validation that, that amounts to nothing really. Um, cause if I'm just not happy, then it doesn't matter. So yeah, I, I really think that something that helped me stay sane over the years really is trying to understand that my own work is separate from me and and i can still be a person uh, a normal person aside from all the crazy things that i get into um yeah that's that's what i would tell my younger self yes not to get intertwined too much where it becomes you and your identity yeah and it sounds like Vinny, what you said is so powerful. That's really speaks a lot of truth. And there's so many people who struggle with that, with taking constructive criticism or making it about validation. I can be a person and I can have this career or, right. and I can be in this movie. And if I didn't get the job for the movie, let's say as an example, that's okay. And it, and it sounds like you kind of had to just sit in that space, space and let yourself feel those uncomfortable emotions and also realize that, well, that has nothing to do with me. Right. They're critiquing something else, something else, not me, myself, and I. Yeah. When you give some performance, you know, you, you can think of it as like you've balled it up and you've given it to them. And they can do whatever, they can hate it, they can love it, but it's, it's been given to them. So it's not, it's not you, you know? You yes, that's such a good one. Bundle it up in a ball, throw yeah. it at them. Throw it in their place and hope that they like it. <laughs> yes, exactly. That is such great advice, truly. When I was just dancing professionally for the Lakers, yeah. I got a little bit like that where it became who I was. And it caused a lot of anxiety and yeah. you're not keeping sane. Like you talked about, you had to realize, okay, for two hours, I'm going to be a Laker girl. And then afterwards I'm going to be Lacey and kind of separate it. And so it sounds like the advice that you're giving of kind of creating something, putting it out there and letting that be something else and not who you are is speaking profoundly to help mental health in anyone. When it comes to dance jobs, acting jobs, that it's like, oh, you, you get everyone's email on set and you send your stuff to all of them. 
and it will lead to another job. It always does. Really seeing the, 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 the crucial importance of, of networking and, and being friendly on, in these scenarios is just as important as executing your performance as well as you can. It should be right up there with them because that's how you do it again. And that's how you get back on set or you know, back on stage again, being likable and being friendly. And uh, without that, if you're just there to work and you leave, they'll forget you. Be friendly and personable. And it's, it's uncomfortable for some people, but it is definitely a skill to work on and to learn. And I think that once I started doing that, I was, I was working more than I ever had. The people that search for you and find you are sort of the gatekeepers of this world of the entertainment industry. So I was younger and I would do a job. I would never think to get the director's email, send him all my stuff when we're done with the shoot, and then have a connection there and have a relationship there. And I would, I would be caught dead if I didn't do that now. You don't know who you're going to meet. And you don't know what they're connected to or whatnot, so you might as well. Why not? It would never hurt. Exactly. Yeah. They, two months, they might, you know, need somebody who looks like you, and they, they saw some of your videos, and they, they, they oh, you'd be perfect for this or that or whatever. It's you never know what kind of connection you'll make. So. You never know, and that's almost that's beautiful in itself. Is just kind of the unknown, and wow, look at all these opportunities I could have if I reached out and if I networked.